Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol OPTT. That's Ocean Power Tech. The chart we're looking at today is a 15 minute chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing 15 minutes of trading. We go back to the 20th of July here. So about two weeks ago or so, a little over a week. What would that be? Yeah, about, about two weeks ago, trading weeks. And really there was a pretty strong downtrend. OPTT you know, it was one of those major gainers uh, a week or so ago, back then on the 20th, pushing all the way up from about $8.20 to a high of 15.65. So it was up about 100% or so. And then from then on, it had some spikes where you could have day traded it and made some really good profits. But overall, this thing was downtrending. Now we have this trend line to take a look at to in, uh, reference that this thing was downtrending so much. Let's take a look at some of those areas where we were touching the trend line and couldn't quite push through it. So obviously right here at the start, the high. Then this candle getting denied right on that trend line. Over here, we didn't quite push up enough to test it. But then all along this area here, it was testing the trend line and we could not break through it. Here we broke through it twice. But if you look closely, those are both red candles and they closed below the trend line. And then we fell all the way back down to an area of support down here. Broke that area of support, came up one more time to test that trend line, couldn't break through it, and then continued making more lows before today. Today was a great day for OPDT, up 21.5%. And incidentally enough, today we did break that trend line. Not only that, but we made higher lows on the chart right there, there, and here. And we couldn't have really had a better day unless we closed above this pivot point. So let's get to the pivot points now that we're discussing that. So the one right there at the top is going to be 13.10. Moving on down below, we have 11.15. And right below that, looks like we got about 10.28. The next pivot point down there, looking at 9... 925. Let me get a more accurate reading. That one is kind of hard to see. 930. 930. We've got 930 there, and that's where it would have been really bullish if we closed above that. Would have been a nice area of support. Unfortunately, we quite uh, we didn't quite make it there. The next area is going to be soft support at 848. And I'm running out of room in the middle here, so this next pivot point is actually going to be on the bottom. So don't get confused. And that's 8.30. What an ugly 8. <laughs> there we go. Okay, 8.30. So, we have 13.10, 11.15, 10.28, 9.30, 8.48, and 8.30. And our site at the bottom, kind of messy because we're looking at so many different uh, days here. So the R side gets kind of scrunched up, unfortunately. But let's just kind of see where we went overbought, right here, overbought. And the last time we went overbought was here. Last overbought area was here. Last overbought area before that, up here. And this one up here. And of course, this whole area was during the highs that we were making. So we had a lower overbought area, lower overbought area, pretty equivalent. Incidentally enough, we were just channeling here. So it makes sense. And then here, much lower overbought area. So if we remove those lines, that's just gonna tell us that the next area that we wanna go overbought should be higher. And that will signal that this trend is reversing. So though it looks like the trend is reversing now based on the trend line being broken to the upside, based on our higher lows, and also based on the fact that obviously we closed green and up 21.5%, the confirmation for that is going to be a higher overbought area. So the next time that RSI goes above the 80 line, we're going to want to see that it makes a higher overbought area. Incidentally enough, if you remember we were discussing the 930 area earlier in the video, if we find support there at 930, it looks like our RSI will start curving up. And based on the fact that where we are currently, which is testing the 20 line, the oversold line, and we're right below 920, I think there's a decent decent shot that we push for 1028 tomorrow. And if we do hit 1028, that's where we might get overbought. And hopefully we find some support up there. So for the bulls, assuming tomorrow's a green day, the worst case scenario, 
which is still a good scenario, is we break 930, find support there. That's the worst case because it wouldn't really be much higher than the current close. It would still be nice though. The best case scenario is gonna be pushing up to 1028 and finding support there. Anything else above that is pretty much wishful thinking, but possible. But the most reasonable expectations would be finding support at 1028. If we push to 1115 and somehow to 1310 tomorrow, well, that'd be icing on the cake, but I'm not sure how likely that will be. 1028, at least we have a pretty decent probability of getting there. So that's what my price target is for tomorrow for the bulls. And that price target in no way reflects, you know, an area to sell or anything like that. I'm not giving you any investing advice. That's just simply the price target I'd like to see these candles end up at. So it's really all I have to say about OPTT for now. I'm going to be watching this thing tomorrow, and I might update this analysis depending on the price action there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this if you did, and stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you then.